While the U.S. had its first uterus transplant for a woman hoping to have natural children, you may have missed super microscopic water levitation, the sailor warning system, and the glove to help people with mobility. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we have done our fair share of mobility gloves, but happily finally have one that does not look like giant earthworms are attached to your fingers. Those make me want to puke. Researchers at Seoul National University developed a novel device called the ExoGlove Poly to give people with mobility limitations a greater degree of independence. The soft robot glove can close or open the wearer's hands for them. In tests, users were able to open circular doorknobs or pick up cups, all things they could not do without the glove. They're already working on V2, which has two gloves. So no more Michael Jackson. <laughs> Up to eight times higher than the surrounding seas, a rogue wave is goddamn terrifying. So MIT researchers built an algorithm that sifts through ocean data to predict when regular wave patterns might merge to form one giant asshole wave. The system spots potential terror, then can warn sailors about it with just a few minutes notice. Now that is not enough to not be on the water in the first place, but it's certainly enough time to batten down the hatches and get your sorry selves below deck for the love of God. Because seeing one of these basically feels like the angel of death is coming for you. You have sunk my better ship. The reason water droplets skitter on a hot griddle is not because of magic. No, you're not a witch. It's actually because of the Leidenfrost effect. It happens because the liquid water at the bottom of a droplet vaporizes as it nears the griddle, which then levitates the rest of the droplet just 100 nanometers from the hot surface. For the first time, researchers have managed to film this teensy little space. Using a technique called total internal reflection, they reflected lasers off of a mirror array and into a prism at just the right angle to see it. No idea what this means for mankind, except I'm hoping for real hoverboards, or maybe hover ocean boards. The best of work on water! Unless you've got power! <laughs> I don't know, I'm flexible. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because you're only one person and you've done enough. Scientists want to inject algae DNA into blind people's eyes to restore their sight. Pokemon Sun and Moon should debut on February 26th. Samsung is building 256 gigabyte memory chips for smartphones. Astronomers are using pulsars to spot gravitational waves. And Microsoft is throwing its support to Apple in its fight against the FBI. If you haven't, please catch up on the Apple vs. FBI debate. It just gets better and better. This episode was brought to you by Go90s.